Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I am going to be creating two looks with the Sigma Cool Neutrals eyeshadow palette. Usually when I do my two looks videos, I start off with information about the palette, close-ups and swatches, then I show you look number one, look number two, and at the end I give you my initial thoughts. Now this is not a review. I have to continue using this palette several times over before I can give you my final, final thoughts. I do a palette ranking just about every month. This will show up in a palette ranking when I've got my final thoughts on it, but we're just gonna have fun here today. Maybe give you a little bit of inspo if you wanna create some looks shopping your stash, or if you're kind of on the fence about the palette, I can help you decide if this is the palette for you. I will link this collection down below, although it is not available yet, but I will put a link to Sigma's website and everything that is on my face in both looks will be down in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video while you're watching it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy indie makeup, consider subscribing. So I did receive this palette when I went to New Orleans for the Creators and Friends trip. If you don't know what the Creators and Friends trip is, basically two creators, Simbri Thinks and Samantha March, created a wonderful like girls trip of creators. And we all got to go and experience New Orleans together and just hang out as friends. And part of this trip was sponsored by Sigma and one of the dinners was sponsored by Sigma in particular. And it was their reveal for their new collection. So we were the very first people to see the collection. We were the very first people to post about it. It was an amazing experience and it is not lost on me how lucky I am that I was to be part of it. I'm still kind of starstruck by it. So uh, anyway, so this is the PR box that they gave us an absolutely beautiful, beautiful box. I mean, I'm gonna keep this box just because it is so gorgeous, all right? The owner of Sigma, her name is Simone. She talked about the inspiration behind the collection and she said that it is inspired by the stone agate. So there are a mix of cool neutrals and maybe some warm leaning tones as well. But this is the inside of the PR box. It's very reflective, so it's kind of hard to show you, but I hope you get the idea. Here's the palette. And then it came with a little slip here talking about the palette and all of that. I will get to that in a second. Then we have the actual palette itself, which matches the outside of the PR box. On the inside, we have this beautiful little, you know, plastic piece, but it's actually decorated just like the outside of the palette. Even those little details are really cool. And then here is the palette itself. Again, it's a little reflective. I do apologize for the reflection. It's hard to kind of angle it, but I'm trying here. So this is what the palette looks like. Listen, it's a neutral palette. It says neutral in the title. It's mostly going to give you neutral looks. Okay. But I tried to play with this, see how many different kind of looks I could get out of it. Honestly, when I saw this palette, I was really excited. I love neutrals. Now I will say I'm not a huge cool tone lover, but I do feel like there's enough variety in here that I even can enjoy it. Sigma palettes usually come with a double ended brush and this one, even the, what is this called? The handle part, you know, this part right here even has the design of the agate. So absolutely beautiful. It says, this is the Cool Neutrals eyeshadow palette. It retails for $52. Unearth the brilliance of 14 cool neutral hues inspired by the exquisite colors of Brazilian agates with this glistening eyeshadow palette and dual ended brush featuring a versatile mix of matte glitter and metallic shades. Cool Neutrals has every pigment you need to create looks that are soft and neutral or edgy and glam. I agree with that. I agree with that. It is going to be launching on May 2nd. And I do have an affiliate code with Sigma. It's Rachel P. It's the only brand where they stuck a P at the end. Probably someone else already had Rachel. So you can use my affiliate code. If you do decide to purchase, you can save some money. Honestly, if I hadn't received this in PR, I'd be I'd be purchasing it because it has me written all over it. And I know a lot of people were upset that it's called Cool Neutrals and it's not all Cool Neutrals, but I will say like after looking at this palette using it, these two shades are really the only real warm shades, like true warm shades here. These two right here that I can tell. The rest of them are cool slash neutral. And when I say cool neutrals, I don't mind if there are neutral neutrals in there because you're, you're claiming that there are neutrals. Does that make sense? How many times am I gonna say neutrals? Take a drink every time I say neutrals or don't please. All right, I think that's all I have to say. And now I'm gonna send you off to look number one. This is look number two, and I will see you back at the end to give you some thoughts. All right, let's create our first look with the Cool Neutrals palette. 
Now I want to play with this side of the palette today. I know some people are upset that there are like more warm leaning shades, but I'm excited about it. I actually prefer this side of the palette. So anyway, uh, tomorrow when I do my second look, I wanna use this side of the palette because I am doing a dance performance tomorrow night. So I wanna do something definitely more dramatic tomorrow, but today I wanna stay a little bit more, I don't know, not as dramatic, I guess. I'm gonna go in with the actual brush that comes in the palette, which is beautiful, by the way. This is the E38 Diffused Crease side. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Harvest which is just like a neutral brown. And I'm gonna put this through my crease. And I have already primed my eyes, by the way. I'm gonna get something even fluffier with no product on it, just to blend the edge a little bit. I need an eyebrow plucking intermission because once I get under these lights, Makes me realize how much I have to uh, pluck my eyebrows. I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, I am back. Uh, <laughs> so this, this shade harvest that I put in my crease actually looks pretty neutral. It doesn't really lean that warm. If I wanted to go even warmer, I could have used this mustard shade called Superior, which I'm looking forward to using that shade because I love me a mustardy shade for sure. But again, I'm just going in with this Singe E03, no product on it. Just kind of blending the edges because it is a little deeper than I thought it was going to be. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Volcanic right here. And I'm going to place this just like in the outer corner and a little bit into the crease with a Singe E06. A lot of kick up in the pan because these mattes are very pigmented. I have already used this palette twice but I've only used it in conjunction with other things. I haven't created a full look on its own yet. Yeah, that's very pigmented. Those mattes are just so yummy. They're just so yummy. I mean, I love Sigma's eyeshadow formula. If you've been here before, you know that. It's just a really, really good, dependable, easy to, I'm putting the NYX glitter primer on my lid, by the way. Uh, easy to use, reliable formula. It's just really good. So, so far the experience has been the same. I'm gonna take the shade Brazil right here, which is like a bronzy shade, super pretty. And I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid. So stunning. Just a really pretty traditional metallic that still has a lot of shine to it. I wouldn't say it's sparkly or shifty, but just really, really pretty. I love me a good old fashioned standard metallic as long as it has some shine to it, which this does. I'm gonna line, just like line my upper lash line with the Unearthly Cosmetics Liquid Liner. And then I'm gonna take this tiny little game beauty brush. This is the E05. And then I wanna take the shade Onyx, which is the black matte in the palette. And I'm basically just gonna set the liquid liner, smudge it out a little bit. I wouldn't say this is a true black. It almost looks like a really, really, really dark brown, almost like a charcoal brown, little bit of gray to it as well. But I wouldn't say it's a true black. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to go off camera. I am going to put on some face makeup and I will come back so we can finish up the eyes together. All right, I am back. As usual, everything that is on my face in both of the looks that you see will be in the description box. But let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with that little Game Beauty brush again with the shade Onyx. And I'm going to put this close to my lash line, focusing it more on the outer part of my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the other side of the brush that came in the palette. This is the E54 Medium Sweeper. And I'm gonna go into the shade Volcanic, that second matte shade that we used, and just blend that out. And then lastly, I'm gonna go in with an Alamar Detailed Diffuser brush, which is just a tiny little blending brush. And I'm gonna go into Harvest, that very first matte shade we used, and blend that out. 
Now, I will say one downside for me personally in this palette is there is no real true like brightening inner corner shade for me personally. Now, not a big deal. I have so many palettes that I can reach into for that. And actually today, something I've been really enjoying doing is using this Kaja, the Wink Dazzle Eyeshadow in Glitter Multi Stick. And this one is in the shade Ice Illusion. On one side, we have like a eyeshadow crayon. And then on the other side, we have one of these sponge tip applicators. So what I like to do is I like to use the crayon, layer that first on my inner corner, then flip it over and use the sponge tip that has more, they're calling it glitter. It's not glitter. It's like a, a shimmer particle and put that on top. And it's just a beautiful brightening look to the inner corner. And I reach for this at times like this when I have a palette that I don't really have an inner corner highlight that I love. So pretty. Look at that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And in my waterline, I'm going to put this one from Flower Beauty. It's the Forever Wear Eyeliner Crayon in the shade Moonstone. It's just a cream. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go off camera, finish up the rest of my look, and come back to show you the final look. All right, and this is the finished look number one. What do you think? I love it. Listen, I'm a neutrals girl, and I will say, I used a couple shades from this half of the palette, right? I mean, I did go into the dark black, brown, gray, whatever this is. And granted, I did not use these two shades because I do feel like these two shades are the warmest shades in the palette. But I don't feel like this look is extremely warm. It's pretty neutral, like in terms of not cool, not warm, just right in the middle. I could have definitely pulled it more warm with those two shades here, but it just goes to show you that you can create a more neutral, neutral look. And I love it. I just love it. Uh, every shade that I used was easy to use. There was no problems blending and yeah, I mean, I think it's so pretty. And I will also say my lashes today are from Bright Lashes. Angela Bright, the YouTuber, this is her brand. This is in the style Flutter, and she did also put these in our goodie bags, and these are so pretty. They're considered half lashes, but for my eyes, they are actually like a full lash. When I buy full lashes, I cut off a big chunk of them so that they're more like three quarters of my eye. And so these were like literally perfect three quarter lashes, if you will. I'm very excited to continue using these. Very easy to apply, really nice, so. I'm happy about that. All I have to say so far is I really like this look. It's right up my alley. I mean, I don't know. I think it's really pretty, so. All right, I'm gonna send you off to the next look. All right, let's do our second look with the Sigma Cool Neutrals palette. We are gonna go a little more dramatic today because like I said, I do have a dance performance tonight. So I gotta look smoky, okay? So I'm gonna go in with a Singe E03 brush and I'm first gonna go into the shade Fossil which is a little bit more of like a mauve shade. And I'm just gonna put this through my crease. I have already primed my eyes, of course, as always. All right, I'm gonna take the back of this Urban Decay Naked Honey <laughs> uh, brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Talisman, which is a purple. And I'm gonna place this in the outer corner and a little bit into the crease as well. This is my cat, George. He, he loves to make an appearance every once in a while. He needs his 15 minutes of fame. So here he is. All right, I'm gonna go in with the E54 that's on the back of the brush that came in the palette. And I'm gonna go into Onyx, which is that almost black shade. And I'm gonna place this in the outer corner. Okay, I put the NYX Glitter Primer on my lid. I'm trying to decide what shimmer to use. Do I wanna go a little more purple? Do I wanna go a little bit more like gunmetal, bluey? I think I'm gonna do this, this one just because it's not what I would usually choose. So I'm gonna use the shade Thunder right here. And I'm gonna place this pretty much all over my lid. I'm gonna leave the inner part of my lid free but this is gonna take up most of my lid. 
Ooh, that is beautiful. And then I think for the inner part of my lid, I want to use the shade Iris, which is a purple. Looks really pretty. And I'm going to put this basically in the inner third of my lid. So beautiful. I feel like this eye definitely calls for a winged liner moment. So I'm gonna go off camera and do a winged liner and put some more makeup on my face and we can come back and finish the lower lash line together. Okay, I'm back. As usual, everything that is on my face will be in the description box, but let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with this little angled brush from Game Beauty and I'm gonna go into Onyx, which is that almost black shade. And I'm gonna push this up against my lower lash line and connect it to my wing. And then again, I'm gonna use the bottom of the brush that comes in the palette. I'm gonna go into Talisman, that purple that we used, and just blend it out. And then I'm gonna take a Sigma E42, just a little tiny blending brush, and I'm gonna go in with that first matte shade we used called Fossil and blend it out. I think I wanna carry some of that really pretty purple shimmer iris just onto my lower lash line in the inner part. I'm gonna take this tiny little brush from What's Up Beauty, it's the R111. I'm gonna pick up iris on the tip of the brush, spray it, and put it on the lower lash line in the inner portion. And for my waterline, I just wanna use a black liner. This one is from ColourPop and it is in the shade Swerve. All right, and this is the finished look number two. What do you think? I'm feeling very dramatic and I love it. Whenever I dance, I do like to have a bold eye and a bold lip because people are looking at me from far away and if I wear a nude lip, my lips disappear. So we're going bold. We're going bold today. I'm gonna give you my initial thoughts. I've now used this palette four times, but again, this is my first time these two looks the first time i've used the palette on its own i still want to create a couple more looks before i put it in a palette ranking before i give you my final thoughts because i do feel like there are still more looks to be made from this palette which is part of my initial thoughts i love that it is a neutral palette but i do feel like there are different undertones there's different shades in here that you can pull it in so many different directions. I personally like that it's not all gray cool tones because to me, I've got so many palettes like that that are just straight up cool toned, kind of one noted, but I do feel like with this palette, it's not one noted. We have those like true grayish blues. We have more purpley shades. We have more like true neutral browns. And then we have a little bit more leaning warm. And I like that personally. So I'm not complaining. Uh, so far, the experience with the formulas are the same as my usual experience with Sigma. I love their formula. I think it's great. Are these shimmers extra special? No. Are they shifty multi-chromes? Are they intensely sparkly? No, but listen, I actually like that. I think it's great. I have plenty of special shades in my collection that I can reach into one, but this is something that I can like pack and I'd be completely happy wearing where I need to. My only kind of downside to this, like I've already said, is there's no like real bright inner corner highlight for me. So like I would have to pack something else in conjunction with this if I was traveling, but it's not a big deal at all whatsoever. I am getting more into mixing my palettes. For a really long time, I was really against it because of the sake of testing a palette. When I do test a palette, when I rank it, I wanna try to test it and rank it as a standalone because I want to let you know if you can create fully cohesive looks just with this palette if you only have the budget to buy this one palette and you don't wanna pull something else in. But of course, I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know if you're planning on picking up the palette, if you're gonna skip on it. I would love to know your thoughts. Do you like Sigma's eyeshadow formula like I do? Do you not love it? Is it not in your preference? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know down in the comments because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. 
I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.